Inside Feed Pundits Club podcast, James Fray and Ben Travers almost stuffed up the entry. We uh, we haven't been around for a while, Fray, and I've been tipping a fucking storm and we haven't been able to fucking podcast. Have you? Have you really, though? I really <laughs> have. It's all documented. <laughs> it's all on the fucking website. Um, or it's on the Inside Feed Pundits Club uh, on Facebook is where it is. Uh, but it's all on the website as well. How are you, how are you Frano? I'm good. I'm good. I'm um, I'm excited. Good card on Saturday. Um, doing the new thing where they're kind of splitting some of the Magic Millions races over two weeks, which I don't mind. So yeah, just a smorgasbord of racing. Fucking great. Um, right. I need the momentum to continue on my good hot streak. So I think it will. Um, confident in some places. Um, having a few dabbles here and there. Um, we haven't uh, spoken about what we're on and what we're backing, so hopefully we clash and we can have a uh, tip-off. Um, uh, starting in Melbourne, Flemington, are you having anything in Flemington, in Melbourne? Yeah, I actually don't mind two at Flemington. I'm, go- I'm actually going to tip one in race six. That is one win from 23 starts, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. Stars of Car- Stars of Carrot. Right. Um, was it was like a decent... I think it ran all right in the Derby two years ago, three years ago, maybe. Um, transferred from Robbie Lang to Peter Moody. Second up, um, I just I just think it's, um, you know, respect the trainer, respect the stable, and it's a winnable race. So it's $10, $10 and $3 on play up, and I think it's worth something each way. Cool. So that's race six, the Frano number eight stars of Karen. Yeah, I don't mind that horse, actually. And, um, yeah, Peter Moody can train. Uh, and then... Are you, are you playing anything at Melbourne? Uh, I am playing three. Uh, not my best bet for the weekend, but um, I am going race three, number four. No prizes for the guessing who, but uh, White Hibiscus, I thought it was a great run, great win last start, and Damien Lane's on from a good barrier. So I'll be on race three, number four, White Hibiscus. Uh, I'm going race, uh, what's the next one? Race eight at Flemington. Um, I really like the run of Garam Piero, which is um, uh, a bit of a back marker, but it's drawn barrier four. I think it's 460 with play up. Froggy knew it on. So it ran home really well last start. Uh, so backing Garam Piero, race eight, number 10. And then I'm backing up, um, We or I tip that girl as my best of the weekend last, uh, or maybe two weeks ago uh, at Caulfield. And it just ran home. Horribly, I think it needs the big straight, and it's drawn out wide down the straight. So race nine, number fifteen, that girl at seven fifty. So those last two, Garen Piero, that girl, good each way bets. White hibiscus, I'm getting stuck into a good multi. I should say as well that we're going to give out a hundred dollar uh, staking sort of, or our bets. We're going to spend a hundred dollars each weekend, and we'll see who's got the most bank at the end of the year. <laughs> um, oh, so we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that at the end of the uh, podcast. I've got one more at Flemington, so I think we've Go got... It. Sorry, I just realised that I had uh, Luckily, we're not doubling up on any races. So yeah, we're... good. I just realised... No, you're right. Um, had, race race had, seven. Sorry, I hadn't done the... Um, for people watching on YouTube, I hadn't done the thing where you click the cameras and they move, so I've just done that. So, um, everyone, people get over it. It's fine. That's all right. right so, race seven, number six, uh, King of Hastings. Um Goes well at the track, goes well second up. Damien Lane on. I think it'll lead and doesn't look to be too much else that will bother it on speed. So I think it's worth a bet, 550, 190. Yeah, I actually, they actually dual accepted it in Sydney and it drew top weight car park. Oh, sorry, it drew the car park and had top weight. So I think they've stayed in Melbourne. I, oh, I think it's a good bet too. Um, so two for Frano, King of Hastings and Stars of Karam. And I've got the three. We'll flash up all that. Um, over to Sydney, Frano. Are you playing anything in uh, in Sydney at Randwick? I am. I think it'll be a heavy 10. We've already seen the cricket today get uh, rained out in parts and there's probably not a worse drying track in Australia than Randwick. So I think it'll be in the heavy range. Might not be a heavy 10. Probably something like a heavy, heavy 8 or 9, depending on how much rain we get. But race 2, um, race no, race 3, number 2. Foxborough, um, got the apprentice on, so it gets two kilos off. I think it can beat the favourite, hopefully lead like it did um, last start and win again on the wet track. Goes a ride on the wet. You, you playing anything in, in that race, Charlie? Um, I am actually, yeah. 
Where you go, you go. Give my powder dry. Um, in Sydney, I'm going second race, Pinnacle Prince. I think it's a superstar. It was I was on it first up, and it flew down the outside. Um, Pinnacle Prince will win. Is it Pinnacle Prince? I think it's Pinnacle Prince. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pinnacle, Pinnacle Prince. Prince. Race two, number four. It'll just win at a dollar eighty-five. No get, no bloody spoils again. Yeah, in that race, that race three, I actually like the bottom weight, fifteen Aria. Um, I backed it first up. Um, and it won on debut quite well and trialled well before that. Might be all a bit too soon, but it's only got 52 on its back, um, and I think it'll appreciate the wet track. I don't think Chris Waller will run it if it doesn't. So I'm going to be on 15 Aria against your selection in that one. Um, have you got anything else in Sydney? I, I do. Um, race four, I think you can play two here and go all right. I think uh, respect the favourite. All-time legend, dollar seventy-five. Looks like a quality horse. Won its th- last three starts. Uh, smart trainer and jockey combination. But there's one that I worth that I think is worth a decent place bet, and that's McCormack. Uh, race uh, same race, but barrier two. Uh, had a good prep last prep or the prep before, where it won a couple of Saturday races. Won really well. There was one I remember it, it launched out of the ground at about the 300 and just um, put them all away. I think it's coming up now, second up. It's had the hit out, sticks to the same distance, goes all right on the heavy track. And I think it's worth a bet at um, 380. There is three place dividends in that race as well. So it's good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, so that's race, then, race four, number three for Frano, Ben McCormick. Uh, McCormick. And then in the last, I tipped this one as my best bet a few weeks ago and it looked the winner at the 300, looked the winner at the 200 and then got swallowed up in a driving finish to got beaten by a oh, short half head, maybe less, uh, on the line for third. And that's more profits, number 10. Um, gets Kieran McAvoy, sticks to the same distance. I think it'll be better for the run. It'll have that fitness. Hasn't um, had a heavy track yet, but goes all right on the Oh, no, it has had one uh, third on a heavy track in a barrier trial. But it goes all right on soft. And I think it's 6.50 in a wide open race. I think it's 6.50 to field like it was the last time it raced. Uh, I think it's it's worth a play. Definitely 6.50 on play up and 2.35 for the place. Beautiful. So that's more profits. And I don't mind. I'm going to back up again. Another one I tipped was the best of the day a few weeks ago. Race seven, number 11 in Sydney at Randwick, full meaner. Um, bit of a heartbreaker. But again, McAvoy on. Um, no weight. Um, wet track to tick. Uh, up to 2,000 metres, I think, will suit. So I'm going to back race seven, number 11, full meaner. Righto, the good stuff. Over to the Gold Coast for a um, bit of a pre or prelude to the Magic Millions, really. Um, cracking day of racing. Um, what have you got for us in Queensland? You are the Queensland guru, as you um, self-proclaimed Queensland guru. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I've ever said that. I don't think I've said I'm the guru of anything. Um, maybe, maybe the guru of running second or third um, yeah, when, I'm on, when I'm on them to win. No, race four, number eight, unconditional. I think this is a great bet at 7.50 and 2.50. This is its grand final. Um, barrier three, so it's going to settle a bit closer. It's coming off two huge, um, like from last and second last finishes at the Gold Coast, which isn't the easiest ground, uh, isn't the easiest track to make ground on. Um, it gets Robbie Froud, it can settle a lot closer. There's no superstars in the race. Um, yeah, I think it's, I, I think it's a great bet. It's probably my best for the weekend. Oh, it's seven fifty. That's seven fifty. It's looking good. Forward, it's good. Looking forward to seeing your staking plan. That'll be good. Um, yeah. All right. Anything else at the Gold Coast for you? Yeah. Next next race. Um, first up, how wonderful life is. So race five, number eleven. Uh, Bobby Alyssa had a day out last Saturday, and <laughs> and Tony Golan, barrier four. Like it's a nine hundred meter scamper, which. I absolutely love. I reckon they're unreal races. I you, can, <laughs> you can win your money or do your dough nice and quick. Um, Sugar Boom will probably cross from the wide barrier and lead him. I think it'll just sit off that. Um, there's also a couple of other speedy ones that go forward, obviously being a 900-meter race. But I think it's got a great first-up record. 
um, the trainer, track distance, uh, likes it wet. It's ticking a lot of boxes and you can play each way at $9 and two ninety. Yeah, I reckon Golan might even get the trifecta in that. Sugar Boom will cross, I reckon. You're right. Um, hopefully your thing sits just in behind and peels out and wins. And I think Tulio um, for Craig Williams, for drawn barrier three, will be uh, running on as well. So um, very strong hand there, Tony Golan. Um, anything else at the Gold Coast frame? No, that's it for me. Just the two. Just the two. So I'm going, I'm starting in race three at the, oh, sorry, race two at the Gold Coast, one that uh, is undefeated, race two, number one, Miss Hipster, has drawn barrier 10, which is the concern, but it's a dead set two horse race, I think. Um, so I'll be on uh, number one, race two, number one, Miss Hipster. Um, ran at Ipswich last start and literally um, he was, she was jogging. Um, good horse. It was just a bit of a blowout. Um, that was over, I think, 1,000. 1,100 might be a bit of a concern from the wide barrier, but um, backing Larry Cassidy to um, get us home. Um, and then I'm waiting till race seven and eight. Um, and this will be a big part of my staking plan. So at about whatever time it is, I'm not sure when these races go, be about four o'clock or something. Race seven, number one, the astrologist um, for Craig Williams, who's up for the day again in Leon Corston's. It is the best weighted horse across the weekend in the country. Um, barrier one, it'll lead, it will win. Uh, $2.80 is an absolute... Uh, spoil I think I think it will just absolutely probably the dangers are Yao Dash the 10 for um, um, Waterhouse and Bot even Ruka the 6 can um, can run well on its day but I think the astrologist is an absolute certainty um, but it's not even my best of the day my best of the day comes up in the next race which is race 8 number 10 Paradis again for Craig Williams so I'm banking on Craig Williams to go the double um, Danny O'Brien, four dollars forty. This horse has got form around a fair to remember and Toffee Tongue in Melbourne. Last start at Caulfield, had to work hard up the hill, led uh, or sat outside the lead, and just got nabbed late. I think this is a very, very good bet. I actually think the danger is a twenty to one horse in that um, Indian Dreamer that flooded home last start uh, or last week. I think after missing the start, I just think from Barry One it'll get caught in a tricky spot. I think Ballistic Boy is under the odds, so I think Parody is the best of the weekend, and I'll be taking um, potentially the Astrologist Parody double. Um, so, Frano, hundred dollars to spend by um, December twenty twenty one will either be rich or we won't be. Um, how are you spending a hundred dollars for this weekend? All right, I'm splitting it up into three different bets. I'm going race six, number eight at Melbourne, Stars of Karen, twenty five dollars a place. At three dollars, I think, at the moment, on Savvy. play up and twenty-five each way on unconditional in race four, race four number eight at the Gold Coast at I think seven fifty and I'll just check the odds seven fifty and two fifty and I'm going something to hopefully boost the bank in in week one and that's uh, twenty-five the win on race nine number ten more profits. At Ramwick, and that is paying six fifty. Cool. So we'll flash all that up um, for those watching on YouTube, which you'll probably be seeing right now. Um, I am going to. I, I like that. I like the unconditional bet. I think that's a good bet. Oh, here's my staking plan for the weekend. I'm going forty on the astrologist at two eighty. That'll return one hundred and twelve. Uh, fifty on parity at four forty. That'll return two hundred and twenty. And then I'm going my last ten dollars. I'm going to have a multi white hibiscus at Flemington. Pinnacle Prince in Sydney, uh, Parody and Sizzle Fly. And actually I might even add in the astrologist on that on that as well. So I think that'll pay something around a hundred bucks, having 10 on it to win a thousand. Uh, Sizzle Fly. Co uh, co competition, will, competition will be over if that gets up in, in week one. Yeah, Sizzle Fly is um, in the fifth at Murray Bridge for those wondering. So a five leg multi just to kick things off. Uh, it'll pay about maybe a hundred bucks depending on um, uh, deductions and whatnot, but um, so those three bets: forty on the astrologist, fifty on parity, and ten on the multi. That's my weekend. God um, give strength to Craig Williams. Um, Frano, we won't look at anything else. We will, of course, over the course of the year, be looking at all things NRL, um, AFL, Super Rugby. Um, the BBL can go fuck itself, but because it's on every day, so we're not going to give a tip. Um, but um, we'll keep an eye on it. The Scorchers won last night um, or the night before, whenever they won, which was no, awesome. No, last and night they. Last killed night, the killed the sixes, and your boys, the Heat, play 
tonight and um, everyone will be watching and listening this tomorrow so they'll know whether or not they beat the stars if indeed they give a fuck um, but we'll be back next week for more selections and uh, hopefully we've got a big bank to play with uh, Frano, good luck, good punting and I'll talk to you next week Good luck to you too Trav Thanks mate